Welcome back. In this tutorial, we're going to do an exercise. We'll use the select case routine to control a rectangular pattern. Let's start by creating a new document, a standard part document in millimeters. Now let's take an isometric view. I'll insert a new sketch on the XZ plane. And I'll use the center point rectangle. I'll dimension it at 100 millimeters, tab, by 100 millimeters, press enter, and let's finish the sketch. Activate the extrude command. Let's create a 5 millimeter extrusion. Click OK. And next I'll create a hole in my plate. Let's right click on this face, select new sketch, bring in the circle tool and drop it about here. Let's apply dimensions. By the way, to identify parameters and rename them later, just write down the parameter name that you see in the title of the Edit Parameter box. So here my dimension will be 10 millimeters. Let's click OK. And lastly, the diameter will be 10 millimeters. And click OK. Let's finish the sketch. And let's create an extrusion. Click OK. Lastly, here I'm going to create a rectangular pattern. First, I select the feature to pattern. Direction 1. And it's going to be five instances. Let's make the spacing 20 millimeters. Direction 2, five instances as well, with spacing 20 millimeters also. And let's click OK. Next, let's rename the parameters. When you have a big model, the parameters window can get confusing pretty quickly. Fortunately, you can mouse over each line and see pop-ups that explain which feature the parameter belongs to. Let's call this parameter length 1. The second parameter we'll call length 2. Next, let's name this parameter Number of instances in direction 1. And then the next will be the direction 1 distance between holes. Control C to copy and Control V to paste. Again, copy and paste. Let me just fix this mistake here. So directions 1 and 2. All right, let's click Done. And let's create a rule. Go to the Manage tab. Click on iLogic Browser. Right-click on our part, Add Rule. We'll name it R underscore Pattern OK. Now let's create a user parameter that controls the plate dimension. Plate underscore dim. Click outside to register. Right click, make multi value. Let's make it 80. Space by 80. Next line 100 by space 100. Next line 120 by 120. So that's space x space and then 120. To avoid spelling mistakes with your code, you can copy with a control C and paste it to a text editor like Notepad so that you can easily copy and paste into your code later on. OK, let's click Add and OK. And let's click Done. Now we're ready to write some code. Manage tab, iLogic browser, Add rule. Let's name it R underscore pattern. And click OK. Let's expand the message box node. 
double-click on Input List Box. Let's make our code a little easier to read with some hard returns, so space underscore hard return. Let's replace the D0 variable with our custom variable. Double click. Same here. And again. Let's type select plate size. Now let's highlight this part of the text, right click and copy, and let's paste it here and paste it here as well. Let's create a select case routine now. And let's bring in the end select. Tab to indent. Now let's bring in case. And let's move the cursor to a new line. Right click on our pattern and select capture current state. Let's delete this extra line. And space, user parameters, double click. The first case is going to be 80 by 80. So space x space 80, close double quotation. We need two more user parameters here to control the plate size. Length 1 equals 80. Length 2 equals 80 as well. By the way, you don't have to use millimeters here. iLogic will automatically assume we're working in millimeters since this document was created in millimeters. The number of holes in direction 1 is 4, and 4 also in direction 2. Let's indent these four lines to make our code a bit more readable. And let's copy this portion of the code. And paste it here one more time. The second size we have is 100 by 100. The number of instances, 5. And the last case we have is 120 by 120. Let's make 6 instances in direction 1, and 3 in direction 2. The distance between the holes, 50 millimeters in direction 2. One last line of code here, update when done. And let's run our routine. The first option, 80 by 80, OK. The second option, 100 by 100, OK. And let's try the third option, 120 by 120, OK. And this concludes our exercise.